We are uh, out here at the beautiful Red Hawk Park here, and what a great day we had. The Red Hawks won today, 5-2, to two, so that was a beautiful thing as well. And we are joined on the Ron Hoover RV by OKC Red Hawks, Kobe Clemens and Jordan Lyles. Guys, we appreciate it. Now, let us know here, first of all, is this kind of what you guys are used to travel-wise? I mean, your own personal RV, that type of thing. Is that is that pretty much what it's like in the minor leagues? Uh, this is actually a little bit sweeter. I mean, you got a nice little <laughs> deal here. Uh, you know, we got chairs like this and you know we're usually you know double up on buses for the most part but uh, they take good care of us. Get a shower up there too. Yeah, that's your shower. Yeah. Uh, so far unused. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully. Uh, so a lot of people don't really know about you know that we know about the glamours of the major leagues but obviously it takes guys three four five years to, to get to the, the big time. The travel, the grind, mostly on buses that type of thing. How does that how much does that wear on you guys as opposed to just the games themselves? Uh, it's definitely, you know, like you said, a grind, you know, long travel days, and now, you know, we actually fly, you know, we, we're taking that, like, 3, 3.40 in the morning wake-up calls to get to the airport by 5, and, you know, doing, you know, jumping on different flights and heading to different states now, so it's a little bit different with that, but, you know, busting all that, just da daily grind, but, you know, it's what we got to do. Good for you, obviously, and Jordan, I'll, I'll aim this your way as well, you, you've been through so many steps of the way, Lexington and Salem Corpus now here in Oklahoma City, but one more thing about where we're sitting here, this Ron Hoover RV. You two guys, two of your teammates, you don't have to name names, just we'll put two more of them on the bus. You get to pick the first movie, and you get to pick the first driver. Who's it going to be? You driving or you watching the movie? And what is it? What's your movie when you got to be on the RV? I'm going to let Kobe drive to start off with. <laughs> so I can watch, watch that movie and go to sleep or something. But uh, oh, a good movie that we watch. Just so you know, we, we, we've got a little Napoleon Dynamite and Borat on the way up here. Okay. Plenty right. more to come, though. Decent, decent. Uh, maybe The Hangover. It's a work. choice. That's always a, a team favorite. All right, Kobe, what are you what are you watching when you throw in your DVD? You know what? Uh, we watched one on the bus the other day that I'd never seen before. It was Gim to the Greek. Okay. Oh, and I was horse laughing the whole movie. I, mean, I was crying. <laughs> I mean, there's no way anybody was sleeping because I was laughing some more. So I could definitely probably watch it again because I was... You know, probably miss more funny quotes because I was crying, basically. Is that at all a role you play on this team or just the person that you are? You've been, you know, some of these guys you played with before, and being in the minor league, sometimes people need to be loose and relaxed about everything that's going on. Do you fit into that? Yeah, I mean, you got to come into playing baseball loose. I mean, you're, 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 ma you're making, you know, so if you get out seven out of ten times, you're doing something special. And, you know, there's a lot of tough outs, you know, there's a lot of tough games pitching. So you got to stay loose and have fun with it, or you know, it's just going to wear on you. So we try to make the most fun, of, you know, in the locker room after games. You know, even if a tough loss, you know, after a while we, you know, sit on the loss or whatever. But afterwards, you know, we're just talking and, you know, try to be as goofy as possible. At least my approach is try to be a goofball a little bit. We've got Astros prospects Kobe Clemens and Jordan Lyles here on the Ron Hoover RV here at Sports Talk 790. And Jordan, for both of you guys. First chance in a major league camp this spring. Tell me about that, how you felt like it went, and just kind of a difference in attitude. And were there any more nerves because you've got all the big league guys around you? Yeah, it was a great experience uh, to go out there and uh, be around the older guys who have, uh, that are in the big leagues and had uh, success in the big leagues. Uh, it's always uh, beneficial and uh, only can get better from there. Uh, just uh, I was competing for the fifth, fifth job and uh, to see what the other guys, uh, the Brent Myers, they have, the Norris, um, just to see how they went about there every day and uh, just ask some questions if anything came up, see what they are thinking in that situation, stuff like that. Can so. you can you tell a difference uh, just in terms of what's going to separate a minor league pitcher from a major league pitcher other than consistency? Is it weapons? What what do you think it's going to take for you to add to, to your repertoire to get to the next level, or is it just repetition? Yeah, I think it's just repetition, like I said. Consistency, consistency is, a, is a big part. and um, It's always, uh, you, you're better off if you're not going to go out there and um, if you can compete every time you go out and uh, not, not uh, give up so many runs, you won't limit those times. And uh, just, like I said, be consistent, and, uh, make your pitches, and you'll be fine. Kind of interesting is we're here today, the first day that Nelson Figueroa is with the team and in the game. He was one of the guys who were competing with the fifth starter spot from and from our experience with him as he joined the team last year and then through spring this year he seemed like one of the more helpful guys to have around I don't know in the, in the spot that you were in uh, was he a good guy to talk to a good helpful uh, I guess shoulder and, and I guess someone to just speak with about being a major leaguer and the competition you were in yeah definitely um, like I said uh, 
lean thing of two guys competing against each other. It's it's totally the opposite. Um, he's a great guy you can go up to and ask some questions. Uh, it's not him before anyone else. He's a team guy. Uh, overall, all around great guy. I can, uh, I can say that. Both of you guys, I know, are at least two sport stars in high school. You, a Memorial Mustang, just like me. So oh, yeah. Nice work there. Uh, <laughs> and you're in South Carolina. You're looking good in the playoffs right now. My brother's They're crushing really... the ball. Yeah. Home run every night. Yeah. But uh, any part of you, any time during the fall, when Saturdays are Thursdays, for that matter, full of college football. You think about having the old ball coach call plays for you, going wide out, catching some passes in South Carolina? Yeah, um, it always goes to the line. Uh, I look pretty close to the stadium, and uh, on Saturdays, the place gets pretty wild there in Columbia. Um, something um, you can sit there and think about, but uh, I made my decision. I'm happy with it. Um, but I do think about sometimes and what, uh, what could have happened. But uh, like I said, I'm happy where I'm at right now, and uh, couldn't ask for anything. The question I know I had for Kobe, because if you look at a box score for the Red Hawks or previously with the Hooks for any team you play with, you really have to keep track with what position you're at in each <laughs> inning. How many different types of gloves do you have and do you have to break in every season? Well, you know, after, like, I think three years ago, I first made the move to catcher, and then basically the, they gave me the big bag and just told me to bring all the mitts with it. So, you know, <laughs> you know it definitely makes me, you know, more valuable because I can go out there and play some positions. I don't know how well I'm going to do with those positions, but I can go out there and you know throw my best out there. And uh, you know I've definitely got, I got the first base now. You know I played third, I caught, and I was in the left the other night. You know I have some Mandy moments out there sometimes. But, <laughs> we heard that. Yeah. We heard that. Today. <laughs> I have some, I have, I've had some Mandy moments, but uh, you know it's whatever I can do to get in the lineup and you know try to help this team. I'm gonna, I got no problem doing. it. Do you feel like that's what's going to get you to the big leagues? Though it's just that you're going to—I mean, you're going to be the not only the emergency everything, but you're going to be able to hit as well. Do you feel like that's going to be your best tool? Well, I mean, they, they've told—they haven't really told me that that's the kind of player they want me to be. But you know, uh, they want me to—you know—go be the best first baseman I can be right now. But the fact that I've been able to—you know—do all right behind the plate, you know, I can play third, I can play an outfield spot, you know, on any position. But I think I can go out there, you know, be decent. But uh, I definitely, you know going to attack first base as hard as I can, but, you know, Brandon Inge, you know, he's been all over the place, he's been a pretty phenomenal big leaguer, and I don't care if I get to the big leagues and I play a different position every night, I got no problem with it. Hey, I was last, before we let you guys go here, you guys are focusing on getting to the big leagues down in Houston, looks like the ball club is about to be sold, is that something that you guys talk about at all, the fact that the major league club is getting sold, you could potentially have a different set of eyes from a, even a baseball development standpoint coming in, or are you guys so into your season and not even thinking about it that, that it doesn't even come up? Well, we've definitely talked about it, and I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, there will be changes made when the, when, you know, the team switches over, but, uh, you know, you just got to worry about the things you can control. You go out there and play your game, you know, not worry about what somebody's thinking or what anybody's thinking. Just go do your job and play hard, and, you know, the rest will fall by the Jordan, how about you? I mean, it, it, uh, for you, I'm sure you have some asp had some aspirations to start the year with a big league club. Did, what has Ed Wade told you? Do you feel like you're still your target is at, at some point this year coming up? And is there any concern that that changes if if there's a, a different administration in place? You just feel like your time will come when it comes. Yeah, just when, whenever time comes, it'll come. Um, we don't sit in the clubhouse and think about it. It's there in front of our locker and think about it, but. Uh, we can go out there and control what we control. Um, I control how I, that's what I bring to the field every day. Um, work, uh, trying to get better, bring that uh, that uh, mindset to the game, uh, hang out, be loose in the clubhouse, and um, see where it goes from there. But if whoever makes the, the uh, calls down the road, uh, we can't really do much about it. And uh, continue to do what I've been doing and uh, try to help this team win right now. And uh, see where it goes. Talk with Jordan Lyles and uh, Kobe Clemens, they all call them City Redhawks. One last thing about today's game for people who don't see minor league baseball every day. Unbelievable setting, unbelievable weather, phenomenal setup here. But in the game itself, we thought we pretty much saw everything. We saw some Keystone Cops play. We saw a guy that's got to be fine in your kangaroo court, even though it might only be 50 cents. But he, he falls down running home to an uncovered home plate. We saw the catcher get ejected, fire his mask into the ground, fire the ball into the ground. Then their manager got ejected. Did, did we miss anything? Or was that what we might get at a minor league ball game? Like you said, it's a minor league game, and uh, it's well worth the, the price you paid to get in. So uh, we're going to get a lot of things when you go in the 
watch this play. Yeah. Yeah, we look forward to following the path continued for you guys both towards the major leagues. Great time out here. Uh, appreciate you coming out on the RV. Uh, I assume you both give the RV a thumbs up for road travel, right? Sure, I'll give you I'll two. I'll give you two. <laughs> it's all right. Sweet. It's good stuff. Appreciate it. Kobe Clements, Jordan Lyles here on the Ron Hoover RV right here on Sports Talk 790. Guys, we appreciate the time. Thanks for having me. Thank you.